6775. I'm gonna do a little preview video. I'm just about to build another system in my mechanical room, the first mechanical room that we made for solar way back in Outback days. And it's uh, removed, we removed all the Outback equipment a while ago last year and painted and now we're using it to do product reviews. And the one we're about to do is on this Helios battery from Discover. I'm gonna talk to you about it, how what we're gonna do with it, some of the cool things about it. So I've been excited, been talking to Discover about it for mm, six to six to eight months. So let me show you what Discover is up to with this Helios battery. All right, the Helios is a new product offering from Discover Energy Systems. We've been using their rack mounted battery with uh, great success. Really want to talk about their BMS. Discover has been working on their battery BMSs for over 10 years compared to a lot of other batteries out there. Their BMS is a contactor based BMS. It is their BMS. It's proprietary. It is safe and secure when it comes to anybody getting into a, this battery, hacking it or writing to an inverter. Discover is probably the most secure lithium product in the market from what I'm hearing from them. And they have, uh, again, they, when it comes to a company that has the technology behind them, uh, Discover has it. They have a great staff, great group of people. Tech support has been fantastic. This is a, a 16 kilowatt hour battery. And you can, <laughs> believe it or not, you can go up to 579 kilowatt hours of storage just paralleling these together with their gateway. And they've got some uh, cool accessories, which I'm gonna show you here. You know what kind of inverters I install, the Solarks. They've already made these little wiring troughs. They're punched for the Solarks. Um, adequate venting provided for the Solarks. So that's a cool addition. It just bolts to the battery. You attach your inverter to the wiring trough. You parallel them together. Batteries get parallel together. There are paralleling battery kits that they provide, and there are kits to go vertical to the inverters from the battery. So the price is great. Um, they're like $225 a kilowatt hour. So that is very cost competitive. It's an outdoor rated battery. I uh, believe it's down to 14 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. It's IP65, fully outdoor capable. I'm not installing these outdoors. So what I wanna do is I'm in my shop, in my office, the office is upstairs, and I wanna run this building separate from my other solar arc system. So put in a Reliance transfer switch. We're gonna to connect to that so we can run this, this building. We're gonna tie it to our latest, greatest carport uh, canopy solar gizmo we created out of Sinclair, but that's another product. So we're, we're gonna work on installing some, we're gonna get prepped for this. I got a bunch of wiring troughs and I wanna clean this wall up. So we will be installing the Helios. They're heavy. So you're right at 300 pounds. So they make these cool, I don't know how cool they are, but I mean, they're, they're cool, these lifting handles. <laughs> you still have to lift the 300 pounds. So they make these handles that bolt onto the back so two men can lift the battery. There's a bracket on the back for attaching it to the wall. They can sit on the floor, they can wall mount, and you can just stack. You gotta have 12 inches of space between them. And I think we just have the room to get this done in this little space, 15K probably going on the right. So again, um, check out this as a, a really cool, simple, you wanna get into solar quickly, just set this battery, add your inverter, your wiring troughs, and you're up and running as an all-in-one energy storage system. And uh, so let me know what questions you have. And uh, this is just a, a really, um, the battery's getting cheaper, they're getting better, and I'm glad that with the Discover products that we've been using, they're cross-compatible. I can use the same gateway with the rack mount or, or with the Helios. Also, the uh, they have the same kind of the relays for load shedding internally. I think they have three relays like the rack mounted battery. And um, you can bus up to three of these together without having to do a separate battery combiner. Once you're over three, like we do in a lot of cases, we, we would set up a separate external 
wiring trough and uh, a battery combiner that all the cables could be brought to. Um, they do provide the ends. If you, if you get into where you have a lot of batteries and you need to crimp, they will provide these, these ends and you can make your own battery cables and crimp those babies on there. So that's nice. Continuing the preview, this is our fusion model of what we're gonna attempt to build. The space that we're in is a little bit tight. I might have to take this battery to another wall, which will force me to have to put a combiner in, which isn't a problem. Once you get over uh, three of the Discover batteries, you need to go to an external combiner. So that's, we typically, we do that a lot. So that shouldn't be an issue. And so we're gonna do a single 15K, mount the Discover. What else can we do here? I'll show you some of the internals of the Discover. The, the negative bus bar is on the left, positive bus bar is on the right side. And there are all sorts of paralleling cables and kits. So thank you, Discover, for producing these models. It's nice. A lot of the manufacturers have step files of the inverters and the equipment. And then uh, Mr. Chris Gray built this infusion, sends me a link that I get to play with and talk about. Anyway, we are just talking about a preview here of what the installation is going to be. Again, these batteries are 300 pounds each. They can handle 200 amps continuous charge and discharge. I need to look up the C rate, and I think it's a 1C. Their batteries have been just shy of 1C. And then um, we're going to parallel them. So two of the batteries are more than capable of handling anything a Solark 15K can do, a single inverter. And I will have a test that I want to show, see if I can start a air compressor. Though the compressor has 130 locking rotor amps, it might not do it, but we'll test it anyway. I really do like the new wiring trough transition, um, and there's they provide everything to have the knockouts. I think that's even in the model. They, yeah, yep, the knockouts are in the wiring troughs between the inverter and the batteries. So excited to put this thing on it. We're going to install the link gateway in this wiring trough. We're also going to connect it to the new link cloud so we can monitor the battery. We're also, because of that air compressor, wanting to use the cool relays that Discover has in the link. And if we're off grid to shave that, um, load shave that compressor out of the loop and not take down the office. So that's what we're up to. Uh, stay tuned for a cool installation. And we're gonna also have the Skyrack Canopy solar feeding this system. Um, so we're gonna charge some EVs, we're gonna do some welding, we're gonna run our office every day, and then we're gonna play around with some CTs and see if I can make two separate Solark systems share on the grid side and sync up so that any excess solar can be sent one to the other. That's another thing I haven't done. I've just been playing, thinking about it, wanting to do it. So, all right, well, this is Engineer 775 signing out. Let me know what you think, um, but stay tuned for an installation video of the Discover Helios new battery. Great price too. Oh, it's a 16 kilowatt hour battery. It's about $225 a kilowatt, which is very reasonable. And it's heavy at 300 pounds. All right, talk to you soon.